Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl from Dungeon Boy Show. I can't I'm back with another one. Okay, we still got, um, in Young You. Um, a day ago, she has been arraigned, and, 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 and she, she lost her passport and all kinds of shit. And they're like, bitch, you ain't getting up out of here. And they figured out, they went through these text messages. She was all, she was all belligerent and shit. But the only thing about the whole thing is the bitch was right there when this nigga jumped off. I mean, what the hell? And then, also, we got this little cute little baby girl. Um, she got killed. And then, thank you. And then her mama, who worked for the Navy, if I'm not mistaken, she gonna try to commit an overdose because they know she was the last person that seen the little girl. I mean, what was it? Shout out to goddamn Zoe. You know? Um, but I can't believe that shit's possible. No, I can't. Yes, I can. I just like saying that. Um, but what the fuck? You know, we losing all our children and all these mamas is wilding out. And then she want to commit suicide like a biatch. Because she knows she did something. You feel me? She guilty. Then she go commit suicide. Try to. And then they save her. They shouldn't have saved that bitch, you heard? They should have just let her go. But let's get into the footage, you heard? Let's go. Boston College student returning from South Korea faced charges in her boyfriend's death in court. Mm -hmm. Prosecutors are reading the text messages they claim was enough to take his own life. Agent Stephanie Rollins joins us with that story. Stephanie, good morning. Well, good morning. Prosecutors say In Young Yoo was the one person who knew of her boyfriend's suicidal thoughts, encouraged them, and instead of getting help for him, they say she kept it to herself and urged him to end his life. All right, let's talk about it, Joel. She knew he was suicidal. Kept the thoughts to herself. Egged him on. Egged him to the edge of life. And said, oh, I'm pushing. Basically, how the hell can she do that? And I remember when we did this video a couple of days ago. And so, we'll see, that maybe it's because she wanted to get rid of the motherfucker. But the motherfucker wasn't trying to get rid of, rid of it. The relationship, you know what I'm saying? So, so she was gonna do it that way. But I think that is very horrible. Like you can do a lot of things other than people, but you can't just tell them to kill yourself. Like unless, if they mentally unstable. Like I mean, I know people have said it in fights and shit. But like when you argue with people and shit. But if you know somebody really, 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 really unstable, it's just certain things you cannot say to the motherfucker. I don't care. Because they will in their life, and if you don't give a fuck, then let it rock. But when it comes to mental illness, it's not an excuse. You're gonna, you, 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 you shouldn't treat them differently, but like, go kill yourself. To them, it's like, okay. <laughs> it's already something that I'm contemplating, so just keep pushing it in my head. Pull it in my head. Pull it in my head. Go ahead. Everybody's scared of the devil. That's your devil. Yes, but but you, but you also have to understand, just like there's 13, there's many different antichrists, there's many different devils that make up one. But I tell you, he governs the human body because the humans can embody him, you dig? Hey, that was deep. I need to write that down. Write that down. <laughs> Let me say it one more time. Matter of fact, you say it. You didn't get it? He governs the human body because humans get a body him. Right? Mm -hmm. What's that? Let me read that. Oh, hold on, yo. I know. Well, we can't talk about that right now. We on another video, but I know. So sad. Um, But yeah, so what do you think? You think that that was wrong, right? Because you, you know, me and you fight all the time. I got mental illness. I can say certain things to you that you, you wouldn't say because I might do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you don't you don't you don't tell someone to go and kill themselves. Especially when you know that they are. But see the thing about it is I don't have control over you like she had over him. She controlled everything on him and he said that. She controlled him mentally, physically, physically emotionally. Yes. Dickly, right? Just everything. Just everything. What the hell is it? Oh. 
So you can't be rolling your YouTube page, man. While I'm working, I'm busy. What word? No, I'm busy over here. Let's roll that footage. <laughs> Hold on, we get to hit that nigga with a text when he gets lap 30. College student charged with boyfriend by suicide is out on bail after appearing at a Boston court for oh. the first time Friday. And how do you not plead? 21-year-old In Young Yu showed little emotion as prosecutors detailed some of the alleged abusive text messages she sent then boyfriend Alexander Ortula. Prosecutors say Ortula. Rest in peace and do it, man. That's all the game. Get your mom butt all untangled. Nigga, did you not hear what she just said? Little bitch said, Go kill yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you do it, mm -hmm. I'm gonna kill myself. When it, well, I'm a little bit stronger than he is. I'll be like, Bitch, we, we both gonna kill ourselves together. Then. This is wrong with Juliet, bitch. Because don't be telling me to kill myself if you ain't gonna join. Right. I can't tell you that much. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm back. Hearing voices. I want you and the voices to stop. Stop telling me how worthless and pathetic I am and how much I deserve to die. Prosecutors also revealing a stunning detail, alleging she was even on the roof the moment or two it jumped. When that's come out, it will be clear. Okay, now that is just wrong. She might as well push the nigga. But you know what? And she inadvertently did. But you know what? Get up on there with this. I have very bad mental illness sometimes. Sometimes it's, it's, it's culpable, right? Sometimes it's what? It, I'm culpable. It's culpable. Yeah. But, but, but. I don't like how you went all deep with it. Yeah. <laughs> you hit me with the Bernie Mac first episode. You come to get these kids? Yeah. But, but, <laughs> well, you had to hit me with that. But yeah, sometimes it's culpable and sometimes it ain't. But I tell you one damn thing. I get tired of people saying, oh, I think I deserve to die. We all deserve to die because we're going to. Like, certain, certain things that mental, mental people, I know they ain't going to be able to feel, but they got to learn to think sometimes. And I know it's very hard with voices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. we seen that already. Remember? Because we had watched the whole season. Shout out to Cart Cartoon Connect. Little oh, right, right. Cheese sticks is real good. But, um, see, as y'all notice, that's part of my mental illness, too. I'll be talking about one damn thing to just go on off to the next. See, I gotta keep up, keep up. But, um, yeah, you feel what I'm saying, though? Yeah. What was I saying? Don't say I don't do. <laughs> I'm still, I'm talking to you. What is that about? We don't care. I'm talking to you. Okay, we're not going to talk to her no more because she ain't like you, you focused. Wait, wait, who is that? Stop the, okay, fuck that. Let's go. I ain't talking to y'all no more. Nobody. These two young individuals were very needy emotionally were involved in a relationship that became a toxic blend of fear, anger, in a similar case, Michelle Carter was convicted of involuntary manslaughter in Taunton, Massachusetts, after urging the young man to take his own life. She was just 17 when she texted 18 year old Oh, we got a new song coming out. When we gonna drop the song? Eventually, filling up his truck with carbon monoxide in 2014. The key evidence dozens of text you. messages uh, well, showing well, Carter pushed Roy well, to well, suicide, well, 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 and when well, he well, hesitated. Well, she insisted. Why am I on your phone, In this latest case, we see text messages from the moment mm -hmm. before yeah, his death, got... where you allegedly tells him, stop, Go ahead, I'm me. crying, please, don't leave me like that. If 
we will get yes, we can go to and so um, will be in the Thanksgiving episode. Issue than it is a criminal Shout out to Pit TV, Gang Gang. And Young Yu has posted bail and has turned in her past. What we do want to mention, though, is that thoughts of suicide or worried about a friend or loved one, <coughs> help is available. Call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Excuse me, like I'm talking to the cell. Talk for free, confidential, emotional support. Glory be to God. No father God. It's a sad case. It is. You know, it's you know, you know, the one that makes it very effective. They are struggling, but they're not. All right, so Your plan is right there, dude. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live. better, you don't need to be right. Oh, y'all's going to be listening. Let me shut up. Listen close. Her mother, Brianna Williams, is now charged with child neglect after investigators believe they found the little girl's remains in. News for Jack starts breaking news with Charlotte, Carolina. Featuring a episode. I was going to do that video. I never got to see it. Brianna Williams is now charged with child neglect after investigators believe. Hold up, you. Send me that video, you. Because I need to do a um, Spanish pass. You, you, you can't do it with me, huh? Because it's girls, right? Because I need another person to do a Spanish pass with me. You think white choose to do it with me later? Yeah, probably. But you can do it, right? You know if they're nice looking or not. You ain't got to be garbage munching. Come on, I'm a little bit forward. Or just, you got to roll with me. <laughs> okay, you don't want to answer. Make sure you're going to answer soon because she is not talking to old Charlotte Carolina, so beat her on her damn channel. Get over to your channel. <laughs> Go. Get, get. Go! Okay. Mm. Hold on. Wait a minute. Um. Uh. Oh, thank you. Because I was just about to fuck some shit up. I'm about to get into it. Oh, yeah. She, she, knows, she, she knows she did something to that little girl. Look at the little girl. She cute. She got a forehead on her, but she cute. Man, I ain't got a full here. They found the little girl's remains in I mean, I got a full here. This video now believed to be Brianna Williams brought into the hospital this afternoon, led by security officers. She was flown by chopper from NH Jax to UN Health for emergency treatment of an overdose of some kind. Williams is now in serious condition. This came just hours after police in Alabama confirmed that I'm gonna get a laptop for Christmas, y'all. And Demopolis, near the area where Brianna Williams grew up. In the past 30 minutes, Sheriff Mike Williams said the investigation is far from over. Along with child neglect, Brianna Williams has also been charged with getting false information to police. sent us a statement which reads, quote, Brianna Williams remains administratively assigned to the Tactical Operations yeah, Center. The Navy is fully cooperating with civilian authorities as they continue to investigate. End quote. We have several reporters covering a major development. We begin with news projection reporter Jim Piggott, who's joining us from UN Health. Jim? You know, I was trying to talk to hospital officials about Brianna Williams' condition. At this point, we're right back, lovely. Let's talk about that. We're going to say Mama that it back. is serious. Oh, well, That's what we're learning from our sources. The fact what that we're learning from sources is oh. that she's actually here. The sheriff didn't specifically say that. But we saw a helicopter land, and from what we witnessed, a woman being taken inside. Take a closer hey, look at this video. Anybody know what happened with lovely pieces? Please hit me up in the comments, please. I need to know because I can't stand that bitch. A local hospital. We saw the helicopter land, and you can see the blade on top of the roof. And then shortly afterwards, we saw the stretcher led by two and so we'll be watching the tutorials, but I don't know if they take care of video. Because of privacy issues, what you trying to get your weave right? You trying to get your lace right good? Now there has been a question of why would they bring her to your house here and not treat her at the base? Well, that's because the sheriff's uh, department has security. Yeah, but well, we got to do what it is. So when people like, are under arrest, one? which she has now been charged you with a like crime, they can watch her. There's obviously a suicide watch going on as well. For now, why are you left out? 
to it. Back to the part of the investigation going on in western Alabama where police discovered the remains believed to be Taylor Williams. The crime scene is between the cities of Demopolis and Lingen. Family members have told Deuceville Jacks that police were focused on that area where Brianna Williams' cell phone had pinged. News for Jack's reporter Curly Peel is joining us live from Alabama, where family members are now talking with Curly about today's developments. Curly? Oh, family members are saying that this is devastating. All week they've been hoping that Taylor Williams would be it. found and knowing that human remains were found here earlier. They're saying that this is heartbreaking. And our news, our news partner, WBUA, moments ago, spoke with Taylor's great... Sorry, yo, I'm going to say this. Um, I haven't started uh singing, taking my mental pills again, and I, and let me speak to people that do take them. Man, trying to take them at the right time and on time and correctly is a very hard task. Take it from your girl. I know this is rough. Gotta take my shit right now. And which is Brianna's aunt, Brianna Williams' aunt. Her mother and Brianna right. said they spoke to them. In the house that Brianna Williams grew up in, this is what she has to say about today's discovery. Now, this video shows several crews making their way into this crime scene here in a rural area in Alabama. We saw this not long after police announced that human remains were found in this wooded area. JSO Crime Scene Unit Vans and the State Bureau of Investigation, as well as several other undercover detectives, have been here. And JSO says that they received a tip that drove them to search this area of Alabama. And we've learned from sources and from family members that Taylor's mother, Brianna Williams, phone pinged in this area. Again, Sheriff Williams announced moments ago during that news conference that they believe the remains found here today belong to Taylor Williams. We'll continue to keep you updated about this as soon as we know more. But if you want to take a look at this scene right now, you can see a lot of the crews have cleared out here now. They do have some crews further out there that's going to be manning this scene tonight. But again, a lot of the crews have left from earlier this evening. But again, we'll continue to keep you updated as soon as we know more. Reporting live from Alabama, Corley Peel, Channel 4, the local station. Corley, Brandon Williams' hometown is Linden. How close is Linden, Alabama from these woods where you are now? I would say we're probably about 20 minutes away from London at this point. We're right smack dab in the middle between Demopolis and London right now. So, again, this is definitely the area where Brianna Williams grew up and where a lot of her family members live. Corley Williams reporting live from Alabama. Thank you, Corley. As we mentioned a moment ago, the Navy just confirmed the news for Jack Brianna Williams remains administratively assigned to the Tactical Operations Center at NAS Jacks. The news projection reporter Kelly Wiley joining us live from outside the base. But what we know, Kelly, about Williams over this past week. Really we know she's been working here throughout the investigation at NAS Jacks. And now we know she was arrested later this evening after overdosing here at the base. We also know she's charged with child neglect so far and false, giving false information Sorry, to Julie, investigators. New video shows someone on a stretcher brought to U.S. help led by security. It was moments after two sources told news for Jax, Brianna Williams was flown to the hospital from NAS. She should have been flown to her casket, but it's just my personal thing. daughter Taylor's disappearance. Right? According to police reports, she is the last person who saw five-year-old Taylor Williams in purple pajamas lying in her bed before discovering she was gone Wednesday morning. Since then, police announced they're working to figure out when the little girl was last seen alive. Investigators say her mother stopped cooperating with their investigation. She was a person of interest in this case, and we still need her cooperation. Brianna Williams works at Naval Air Station Jacksonville as a petty officer first class in the Tactical Operations Center. Throughout the investigation, Navy officials said Brianna Williams was reporting to work, free to come and go. Monday, Sheriff Mike Williams said they knew Brianna Williams traveled to her home state of Alabama in the last two weeks in this black Honda Accord. Investigators did reveal what led them to search in Alabama. 
But Tuesday searchers looking for Taylor Williams discovered human remains between Brianna's hometown of Linden, Alabama, and Demopolis. Neighbors say less than a week before Taylor Williams was reported missing, her mother moved from a south side apartment complex to this Brentwood home. Neighbors told News for Jacks they never saw a child living there. I know all of them. And all these little details that we've gotten over the week, they still matter because as the sheriff Facts. and the attorney yeah, in, the, here, but, in the state yeah. attorney's office pointed out in this Facts, press conference, yeah. they are still investigating this case, even though they've already <laughs> charged Brianna Williams with child neglect and giving false information. <laughs> they may know that there's still a lot of data, there's a lot of legal implications with this case, although they didn't really elaborate at all as to what they were specifically talking about, what the challenges would be going forward. So, Kelly, we know over the past few days that Brianna Williams has been staying there on the base. Do we know if she was being held there or maybe just staying with friends or coworkers? That's the question that we've been asking the Navy officials uh, all day long is, is she there to freely come and go? Was she there that she could leave when she wanted to? Or was she being held there? And even as early as this morning, Navy officials were telling us that she was just reporting to work as she would have would have without this situation being what it is. Um, but we're still unclear if that was the case later on through the day. The last information that we got, though, was that from the sheriff and from Navy officials was that uh, before this evening, she was free to leave when she wanted to. And we don't have any information to suggest that she wasn't here the entire time. All right. Kelly Wiley reporting live outside NAS Jax. Kelly, thank you. You know. Salute. Find paradise, all the missing, gone, and everything. You know what I'm talking about. We out there, big.